Uh, down in Louisiana, Governor, Republican Governor Jeff, Jeff Landry is uh, pushing that state to uh, do what uh, three other states have done now and basically gut their public schools in favor of uh, right-wing private schools and religious schools. Uh, they passed this uh, Louisiana Giving All True Opportunity to Rise, the L.A. Gator program. Uh, passed the state Senate 25 to 15 last week. Only four Republicans joined the Democrats in opposing it. Uh, but it's still passed. I mean, they've got a, a Republican, a huge Republican majority in Louisiana House and Senate. And uh, Landry is suggesting that uh, they should even revise the state constitution, which says that basically public school education is a right and the state shall always fund it. Uh, this is, and, and, and this is being pushed, Landry is, is being backed, you know, by big money from right-wing billionaires and right-wing groups and donors. And he used television ads to push his party in this direction to say, yes, you know, we need to do this. And uh, he wants the state uh, to hold a special convention to, to uh, modify their constitution, to, to do away with the promise of free public education. And he's calling on the state Senate to, uh, to do that and also to, uh, to appropriate $520 million a year, not for public schools, but for private and religious schools. Local school board members, teachers, superintendents, they all lobbied the Republicans ahead of the vote to say, please don't do this. Uh, Larry Carter, president of the Louisiana Federation of Teachers, told Public News Service this month, these universal voucher bills are a step in the wrong direction. We've seen in other states around the country, like Arizona and Ohio, where these bills have been passed, schools are now facing a budget crisis, and we're hoping we, can't go down the, we cannot go down that same road. If they're cutting that funding stream, Louisiana students will have fewer nurses and counselors, fewer options for after-school programs, and certainly limited access to field trips and advanced placement courses that help prepare them for their next step in life. Now, you know, some suggest that Republicans are so gung-ho for this because basically they love the poorly educated. What you find when you look at uh, education in the United States and politics is that People who have a college degree are more than 50% voting for Democrats, and people, would, uh, people who haven't even graduated high school are more than 50% voting for Republicans. There is a clear spectrum here on of, of educational attainment on which you can overlay political affiliation. And, you know, is, this the, is the goal here of the Republicans to simply make stupid Americans? Or is it that they're taking money from right-wing churches and private school corporations and they're just doing what they're bribed to do? I, I suppose both can be possible, right? You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. And finally, our crazy alert on the other side of the break, and then I'll pick up your calls. So stay with us. We'll be right back.